guys, this is the part three of the vlog for Scorpion Headquarters visit. Um, we're actually not racing to Scorpion Headquarters today because we're stuck in this traffic. So, Martin, Sean, sorry about the delay. <laughs> um, just with our customer, Adam, who's going to talk a bit about his Cooper ST290, isn't it? Cooper 290 ST, the family wagon. The family wagon. Also known as the White Hearse. The White Hearse, that's a, that's a good name for it. So we're on the way to pick up both cars, um, the Cooper 400 and his Cooper 290. Um, modifications on his car at the moment are? Um, we have got a Ram air filter. We have got a VWR turbo. 90 degree elbow. That's the okay. one. Um, we've got the Powerflex bush on there to stop it. The horrendous wheel hop. That's the hybrid one. It's the hybrid. Yeah. What else do we have on there? We've got the JB4 on there. Can't the JB4. The JB4. Can't believe you, you forgot that. Um, so at the moment, JB4 is going to be disconnected, but obviously we will reconnect it when we get back to the NBM because um, Scorpion wanted to do dyno um, runs before and after with their exhaust system. You've gone for a catless downpipe, haven't you? Catless downpipe. 76 mil. So basically what I was running um, and with a non res non res rear box. Dual rear boxes, yeah? So, you excited to hear it? Well, the car sounds awful coming out of the factory, so it's going to be a massive improvement. So, you heard that here first? No, you haven't. You've heard it from everyone. The <laughs> Seat Cooper 290 sounds awful from the factory, and any kind of aftermarket products that they make for the exhaust system is a major benefit. Um, I think Scorpion will hit the nail on the head, because I've told them to make me a, a non-res, and obviously they will provide a resonated version for our customers, and obviously we'll, we'll have a couple in stock. Um, non-res and res uh, for both variants the two, 280 hatchback and the 280 estate the ST um, which obviously kind of conforms to the 290 and the 300 that's out as well so I think our next clip will show you us going to Scorpion yep. if we can get through this traffic until then catch you guys in a bit Some people like the way it feels Some people want to kill their sorrow Some people want to fit in with the popular That was my problem I was in the dark room Loud tunes Looking to make a vow soon That I'ma get fucked up Filling up my cup I see the crowd move Changing by the minute And the record on repeat Took a sip Then another sip Then somebody said to me oh, Okay Martin, probably recognise him from the last yeah, vlog. Yeah. Sorry to keep you on a, on a summer's day so late, okay. um, but just picked up the cars. Absolutely sounds immense. Was a bit unsure about the oval tips, but seeing them in person, I think it suits it to the T. But we've got a non-res section in the boot anyway, so we can kind of see how it goes from there. Um, obviously the downpipe is the 76 mil that we had before. Martin, do you want to rev it while I film it from the back? Tips 
Cooper 280, oval tips, Cooper 290, estate ST. Sounds immense. I think it suits the estate more than it does the hatchback because the rear diffuser is slightly different. But again, these are amazing tips. They're perforated um, and obviously they form part of the Y pipe, which I'll try and show you here. Obviously, I'm going to try and get it get it up on the ramp for you guys to have a look at it and see what's what. We've got the laser laser etched Scorpio logo and the oval tips there. It is a lot quieter than the Rima system. Obviously, the Rima system was a bit leery and a bit crazy, but this is the resonated system. And again, he's put the non-res section in the boot for us. So when we get back, we can fit it and try it. The system itself is 76 mil from the turbo back, and that allows for maximum power, maximum torque on this variant, up to about 600 brake horsepower. So anything beyond that, you probably need a larger bore size. Um, we are looking at getting an 80 mil downpipe um, prototype for this and the MQB platform, so the Mark 7R, the Golf R, um, the S3, and the Skoda Octavia VRS, um, and then try that and see if it makes any difference to heat dissipation, etc. But at this moment in time, I'm fairly happy with the sound of it. Obviously, it's, it's not as loud as a Remus, but this will be safe on track, and again, we'll be on track at Vag Tuna, 16th July. Both cars actually, mine's and Adam's. Um, he's running a JB4 system and we're running the stage two plus mapping with intercooler, etc. So it'll be good to see what they both are like on track. I just picked up the Cooper 400 and the Cooper 290 from Scorpion. We're just heading back to NVM HQ. Got to fit his JB4. And um, listen to me. Absolutely immense. I think Scorpion have nailed the sound perfectly. And this one's a resonated version I'm in and is in the non-resonated version and there's still no boom. So it's a system that you know has been developed specifically for our needs and it will go out to production now. So I hope you like what we've seen and um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. 